Hey, what's up? Welcome to Hoodie Studios. It's your boy A to the K to the K, Alexander King Kwame. And today I'm going to talk about how I made this photorealistic winter scene in Unreal Engine 5. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's just dive into it. So this is our scene and I can just orbit around it and we have here as the background so you can actually see the whole scene going on in here so uh, let me just go into it just like this so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna turn all the visibility in the scene off so I'll just keep turning them on um gradually so you can understand what's actually going on in the scene yeah so we have a dark scene and it will start building everything from scratch so for um first and first i have my hdri in the scene as my first step so let's turn on the hdri so this is the hdri and now for hdris you have to know the asset that you want to place in your scene before you know the as the hdri you want to put in there because if you really want a photorealistic hdri you don't expect to bring a desert hdri into a winter hdri asset you feel me so you got to go and get a winter hdri asset into your scene all right so if you don't really know much the basics about hdri you can go into my previous tutorials i talked about hdri in some of my previous tutorials you can find these tutorials and you can check the basics in hdri so the next step is we have to drop a plane and with this plane i actually have a mega scan asset on on the plane so this is the mega scan asset um, let me browse so this is the mega scan asset which is an a fresh windswept snow so you can find all these assets in the mega scans library when you go to bridge I'm actually offline so I actually have them all downloaded in here yeah so so this is actually the beginning of the scene you feel me okay so the next step is although we have a background a little bit of that we also need our own asset to create a background so that is where we're going for this snow hill asset from the mega scans and for the snow hill i have the first one here so let me just rotate so that is it right there so you can see it So this is the first one and actually when you place it in you try and rotate it so you can get different perspective of the snow and I have another one here so this is another one and you can see I rotate it and I scaled it so I can get variations in the same asset and another one here so which is this one and again scaling and rotating it will change the perspective of your asset and again i have another one here so this will actually complete our background so just like that we have our background so the whole trick is to just drop one in you scale and you rotate you scale and you just rotate them to get a lot of variations from the same asset and also it is not all about making a photorealistic environment but telling a story in your photorealistic environment so i was like i just need somebody sitting next to a campfire in the winter in an open winter so so all i did was to place some asset in front of our hill so we can place in our character and our campfire 
so this will be our next asset for building our character and our campfire so all i did was to duplicate this asset and just kill them so i will just show you in the main scene so you can see it's just right here in the main scene so let me just bring them all out so this is the first one and let's just get inside so you can see what we have so just like that and let me just bring in the second one so just the same asset but i just duplicate this one and i just rotate it on the other side so i have another one and it's right here so this is it and again we will just we just have to duplicate it we can even go a step further by selecting all these and i can just duplicate i'm sorry I can just hold alt and just move it to duplicate and I can just rotate it and make it something else. You see we just got a different um, pattern just right there but I'll just control Z and just destroy that but that's how I did it. Alright so there is another one which is this asset right here so this will be another asset and this asset the whole idea for this asset is to bring in this asset for my character to sit around this part so actually it's gonna be my character sitting idle next to the campfire so I will just turn it on and this is it so let me turn it off and on so I just place it here so this is the main scene of our snow environment we can just be like okay this is just the environment and I can just pick up a camera and I'll just move in slightly and that's it but to take it a step further we just have to bring in some element to make this look more lively you understand so what I did was to bring in a meta human and this is our meta human and let me just get close to our meta human. You can see our meta human sitting down. All right. So that is our meta human with no clothes. So we will have to create some clothes and get it onto our meta human. And I have tutorials about getting cloth onto your meta human you can either choose chaos cloth or you can choose your alembic and this one i use the alembic so let's get into marvelous designer in marvelous designer i have three assets in marvelous designer i have our asset i have the snow asset i mean this asset right here and i have the meta human asset just sitting right on the rock and I just have a clock I just designed for our character. So you can, it's, just, it's very simple. You can just look at the 2D pattern and you can just create a clock. And I also have a hood pattern here. And it's pretty simple. You can check my tutorials on how I make hoodies and you can make this one. But you can also look at this and you can also create a hood. So it's pretty simple so all that i did was i have to i have the i have the animation in here so i will just simulate and i will bring this as an alembic into unreal engine so it's just pretty simple i just have to get only this into unreal engine only the cloth on our meta human into unreal engine all right so yeah here this is our clock that i have in here so let me just turn it on and you can see it's on our meta human yeah so the texture on the clock is from a bridge asset so this one thick fabric from the mega scans asset so i can just show you uh this is it and I made a tiling of, uh, let me check three. 
so three on the x and three on the y and yeah there you have it so we are all, all we need is the campfire so for the campfire i use niagara particles and this is it here so when i turn it on you can see our campfire just right here so it's just pretty simple to just set up your niagara particles you can just uh go to content you just right click and you just say niagara system and you just new system from template or behavior example so you just double click that and you just choose whatever you want but before you do that you have to go to the um the plugins and you search for niagara fluid then you turn that plugin on so you will have to restart your engine so basically this is just the whole scene so to take it to an extra step we have to add an exponential height fog so bringing in height fog will kind of give us the vibe of coldness in our scene so let me go over the exponential height fog so the fog density is 0 0.2 and to get this whole effect you have to turn on volumetric fog so when i take it off and when i take it on you can see the effect on our assets and in our scene so just make sure you turn that on and you have your fog density at 0.2 it depends on your scene it depends on the scene that you are working on so yeah this is the whole scene and you understand how pretty simple this one was it's just adding elements rotating them and just placing in your story characters to make it look more cinematic all right it's your boy a to the k to the k if you don't understand anything let me know in the comment section and i'll just reply to every comment in the comment section so peace i'm out stay blessed bye